What's going on dudes? It is Colossalis here. Welcome back to another Fury Crafting video in Heroes of the Storm. Today is a very exciting day just because of the PTR launching. The PTR just launched after BlizzCon and we have our hands on three hero reworks which is Karazim, kind of Illidan. Illidan uh, it's not a rework but it's actually some major changes to his kit and uh, Zeratul which are the three characters which I which I most wanted um, Blizzard to take a look at, but we also have the new hero, Varian Vryn, which I uh, honestly, with you guys, uh, to be honest with you guys, I am gonna play the shit out of. So today we're gonna see we have some builds, but first of all, let's go over his abilities and talents. Level uh, so heroic strike is every 18 seconds Varian next basic attack deals 278 bonus damage which is quite a lot it is more than 100% I believe uh, let's see how much his basic attack deals just normally so that, that was the 173 and then with the uh, heroic strike 451 which is just crazy amounts of damage it's, it's, it's an additional you know again 278 damage, very very good. And our key ability is called Lion Fang, is that it is that skill shot in front of us, it does a little bit of damage and also slows enemies for 30% for 1.5 seconds. And then we also have Parry, Parry is our W ability, we activate it and then we basically Sir, evade or just honor. block every, uh, just 100%, we just evade 100% of uh, the next basic attack, basically any basic attacks uh, for uh, 1.25 seconds. I thought it was 0 .0 0 0.75, that's what it was in the original files, but this one seems like it's much better now. It's 1.25 seconds. That is really strong. <laughs> okay, that's just super strong then. Anyway, whatever, uh, I'm not gonna complain. Enemy ability charge due to the, to the target enemy dealing 110 damage. That's our charge, our E. And it slows them, kind of, kind of just applying this nice slow to the target. It actually has quite a low range, so you have to be very careful, um, and actually you have to kind of time it right, just to just to get it in at the right time. So those, those are his abilities. Very very nice kit for both an assassin and a warrior. But what we have for the talents? I already went over the talents in my BlizzCon preview. But I just want to go over them quickly again. So this is a, this is a quest, Lion's Maw. I don't think this is going to be picked ever. But basically, every time you hit you hit a hero with your Q, you will increase its damage up to 120. And when you hit 30 heroes, uh, it would also increase the slow uh, to 40% for two seconds instead of 1.5. So instead of 30% for 1.5 seconds, it's going to be 40% for two seconds. Eh, increase damage, blah. Which is already not that not that good. I guess 300 damage is not that bad, but eh, much better choices here. Much better, believe me. We have overpower. When you party a hero, hero's basic attack, heroic strike cooldown is refreshed. It can only occur per cast. So when you activate this and you blow, and you actually somebody in that 1.25 seconds will attack you with a basic attack, you will be just 100% reducing the cooldown. So it doesn't matter if it's on the 18 second cooldown now or is it on the one second cooldown. You'll be just negating the cooldown on your uh, on your trait, which is super strong. It, it just allows you to get a lot of bursts. So what you can do, <clears throat> you can you can come up to somebody, uh, you can attack them, activate this, wait for their attack, and then you can you can deal like about 800 or 900 damage, like that. Which is you know it's a lot of burst. It's a lot of burst if you guys ask me. And then we have High King's Quest. This is the, the kind of the new breed of the questing talents. It has three quests in one. So we have hit 50 heroes with basic attacks. That is always hard to do, um, especially as a melee a melee hero, I would say. A quest participate to five hero in hero in five hero takedowns and gather 20 globes. So the other two will be fine. They'll be easy to do, and you will do them just gradually as you play the game. Of course, you have to kind of try to get globes um, to kind of finish it as as soon as possible. But I think the, the trickiest part is going to be uh, hitting 50 heroes with your basic attacks. Completing a quest, which is one of those quests, uh, grants a 10 base attack damage. Which is, if you think about it, it's crazy. Especially later on, 
with his heroics. Uh, completing all three quests grants an additional 30 base attack damage. So you'll be getting, from, by completing a quest, you'll be getting 10, 10, 10, so 30 plus another 30, so that's 60 on top of all of your basic attacks. That's nuts. So these two are simply just the best. I think this one's pretty good for a tank build, which is what I'll be going for when I play him. And the other one is just amazing for an assassin build, or might be even good for a tank build, you know, maybe just get, allows you to just get more healing out, you know what I mean? So again, but I feel like this is going to be really good. So then we have what they specified as this talent tier when you'll be kind of going for a different playstyle. You can either go for Warbringer, which makes you more, more like a Muradin, kind of, but Artanis Art slash Muradin, where you can stun somebody, but also go in like really hard, like really goddamn hard. Um, so, so what Shield Wall does, it will prevent all damage. How nuts is that? How crazy is that? It will prevent all damage for 1.25 seconds on the two, on the 10 second cooldown, two charges. Wow. Just, just wow. Again, for a tank build, it is amazing. And you, you, you don't even have to put, actually take this over power to, um, to make to make this better so you, you can still go for the damage but then you, you but then you're like no i just want to go tank build or you can go warbringer which which turns your charge from a slow to a stun for one second uh, which is honestly very very good against but crowd control it just makes you kind of more crowd controlling and it also reduces the cooldown by 10 seconds so from 16 it goes to six second cooldown Pretty crazy, if you ask me. Pretty crazy. It allows you to have a lot more mobility and a lot more crowd control. But we're gonna go for the shield wall. I feel like that's just OP. So now you're protected. No damage can touch you for 1.25 seconds on two charges. Seems crazy to me. Then we have another parry talent on level 7. Parry lasts longer by 20%. It's increased the duration. If you block at least two hero basic attacks, which is pretty much always when you use it at the right time, with a single parry, it, its cooldown is reduced by three seconds. So it becomes a seven second cooldown instead of a ten. Not that exciting, not that exciting, but again, it will help you just in your overall survivability. You know, waiting seven seconds instead of ten is just much better. But you also have second wind, which is kind of similar to what... Um, Muradin's trait is called, right? <laughs> a second wind. Basic attacks heal you more when low health. Basic attacks heal Varian for 1% of his maximum health, which is goddamn strong, especially when you pick up, when you go for the, um, you know, as you have more health, so when you pick up the heroic for a warrior, it's gonna uh, just heal you for much longer. Um, yeah, so, it, but when you, well, well below 50% of health, you also heal him for 50%, of the damage dealt. So it's for the 1% plus the 50% of the damage dealt. So you'll be healing for 200 every heroic strike and about 70 health every single basic attack. That's crazy. If you ask me, that's crazy. Sir. Victory Rush. Basic attacks periodically grant a large heal. Every 60 seconds, Avarian's next basic attack will heal him for 877 health. That's a very, very big burst heal. When a nearby enemy dies, the cooldown is reduced by 15, uh, 15 seconds. I think this is good for like small maps, like uh, Tomb of the Spider Queen, or maybe Braxis Holdout. Then that would be pretty strong. But when it comes to, uh, I think, just normal map, I think these two will be the way to go. But don't quote me on that, because I might be wrong about Victory Rush. It just has to be tested. It just needs to be tested on how. Actually, let's let's, let's try it, right? So we're going to go up here. Take a little bit of damage. Right, attack me. Nice. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of damage. Uh, are we gonna take a victory rush? And now we're gonna. That is actually quite a large heal. That is quite a large heal. But let's look at how, what can the other uh, what the other talent can give me. Second wind. Right, come on. Deal some damage. Deal some damage. Actually, yeah. Let, let's let, let, uh, put me below fifty percent. Come on. Right, 
Let them put me below 50% very, very quickly. Da, 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 da. All right, there we go. Look at the chunks of health I'm able to get. That is crazy. Just I'm just healing a chunk of health every single time when I was below 50. Now, you know, it's, it's a little bit like, uh, kind of like Sonya's healing, even better than Sonya's healing. Seems legit to me. And we're gonna try the last one. We're gonna see. Um... Choose a talent. So now it's supposed to be lasting longer. That is such a long time. That is such a long time. I'm not sure if, if you can pass this up if you if you already for, went for these two talents. I'm not sure. It's only on the 10 second cooldown as well. Huh. Alright, so for the tank build, I would say you can go for any of these. On the smaller map, it's gonna be... Um... So first of all, we're gonna go over the tank build. So on the smaller map, I'll go for probably Victory Rush, where there's a lot of minions around you and you'll be able to get your cooldown I wonder what's the radius on the nearby uh, nearby minion. But second one seems okay and live by the sword seems also pretty good. But it kind of leaves you dependent on your on your on your healers for your healing. So I guess second wind will be your like, quick match choice, and then maybe this will be your like uh, when you have a healer choice. We're just gonna go for that for now. But again, there's a choice. You already have a choice, which is good. And then you have the the heroic that makes you a tank, which is called Taunt. Taunt uh, gains you 50% additional health. So we'll be staying at about 6,000 health, which is very, very tanky, by the way. Um, force the target hero to attack you, uh, to attack Varian for 1.25 seconds, which is very, very good because it takes uh, takes away focus, but it's on a very, very short range. Let me just, let me just show you this. So you see, right now we're sitting at about 6,000 health. Again, this is going to be uh, really good with our talents. So, so look at the range of this. This is pretty much like almost basic attack range. So let's say he's attacking this minion, so and I want him to attack me. There you go. And that's it. It's done. I think that's going to be pretty weak, and I think that's going to get buffed probably afterwards. But we're going to see about that. We're going to see. We're going to see. So let me just reset my talents again. Talent. Uh, we also have uh, Colossus, Colossus Smash, which means this is going to make you a very, very big bursty uh, kind of assassin. Uh, gain damage. So smash a target enemy dealing 410. That is an, an activatable, um, again, just as taunt is. Um, kind of ability with your with your R dealing 410 damage and making them vulnerable for three seconds. Very very good for like just you know just, just focusing focusing down one target, leaping to them by the way because it, it is kind of like a leap kind of thing. So you can see it's actually on a very very nice radius. So you come, bam, you deal damage and then you 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 make them vulnerable, which is obviously super awesome. But the last one though. Seems very, very interesting. It, may, it turns you into a sustain assassin. Uh, he splits his swords and he goes ham. Look. And the, it increases your attack speed. Let me just uh, read this. So, basic attacks re uh, reduce heroic strike cooldown by 9 seconds now. So, every third basic attack, you'll be. No, every second basic attack. No, every third. Because you have to reduce it to yeah. So every third basic attack you'll be you'll be hitting a heroic strike. You will be reducing your basic attack damage uh, by twenty five percent. So it's actually gonna go well with this talent when you increase it, but then you're gonna decrease it a little bit. So it's still gonna be an overall increase in the damage, and but your attack speed is increased by one hundred percent. Also, the, uh, so besides just re reducing the the. Um, the cooldown by nine seconds. It also gives him movement speed, thirty percent for two seconds. So it makes him beast at chasing because he goes into uh, mount speed after he attacks. You can see, I'm, I attack and then for two seconds I run like crazy. It's a long goddamn time. So you'll be able to stick to your enemy like nobody's business. And when he just goes ham, just look at this. The attack speed is crazy, yeah, so every third basic attack he still attacks for a lot of damage. 400 damage is a lot of damage. So he becomes 
a sustained assassin. But we're going for a tank build right now, boys and girls. So there you go. Almost 6,000 health. Well, I think one of the tankiest heroes in the game. I believe so. Um, at this at this level, although I'm gonna be I'm gonna just be reassured with that. On level 13, they decided to give you banners, um, which is pretty interesting. Pretty interesting, kind of act activatable. You have banner of Stormwind. What's cool about them? When you put them down, they will they will play a song from the certain you know, um, capital that they're from. I mean, Stormwind is a capital, but also Ironforge is kind of capital of its own region. I think at least that's what it's all, that's what the lore is. Don't quote me on that though. It's just, we'll play the music from the certain city. Ironforge, I think will be your way to go. It's just because it gives you um, resistant. It gives you everybody in the circle. You can see it's a huge circle and you can, you can hear the music going. Everybody in the Heroes Heroes Shelter will receive resistant for 12 seconds or until this guy dies. So, oh, seems pretty damn strong to me. You can also have uh, additional uh, additional movement speed, um, which is going to be pretty good for chasing, pretty good for disengaging. Of course, you know this could be used. And they have Banner of Dalaran, which Banner demands ability power. So again, if you have Kelp Pass, Li Ming, Chromie Composition on one team. You probably want to go for Dalaran just to give them that additional burst that they need. Uh, but most of the time you're going to go for Resistant probably. It's going to get, it's going to get a lot of value in, in, in team fights, especially if you can place it in a safe uh, safe spot. Now, on this level range you have a Juggernaut. Charge deals bonus damage to heroes equal to 6% of their maximum health. Again, this kind of makes them... Uh, kind of a, a, a assassin with a little bit of giant killer. This is this is going to be in in the best scenario at a six second cooldown. So again, six percent of health on six second cooldown is not the best giant killer. I wouldn't go for variant to to kill Chogal or double double tank composition. Um, but again, it's there. It just deals additional damage. So I guess if you go for just just for you know just for the the build for his E, which is Warbringer. Um, Again, there's not nothing here, and then they're just driving out. So I'm not sure how, how good that's gonna be. Probably not that good at all. Mortal Strike, Heroic Strike reduces enemy healing, which I guess is gonna be really good for like reducing somebody's healing. It's for four seconds. So when somebody is getting focused by the healing from Morales, that's really strong. Against like mouth healing, really strong as well because because it's a heal over time. Oh, super, super good, super, super good. And once somebody's getting bursted down, you just apply your moral strike, and they will, uh, even if they re receive bur um, healing, you will, they will still receive forty percent more, which could be, which could be just, just fatal to them. It might just, it just might just kill them. And then you have something super interesting, which is called shattering throw. Activate to throw a sword that deals one hundred and ten damage to the target and up to 3,000 bonus damage to their shields. And then it also passive, a basic attacks deal up to 200 bonus damage to shields. So when you see somebody like Zarya, when you see somebody like, um, what's his name, Tassadar, I think you just pick it up straight away because you'll be able to melt away their shields like it's nobody's business. So this is very interesting. And this is the first kind of t talent we saw, we see like that. But I'm definitely excited for it, and uh, I'm definitely I can't wait to try it. I just can't wait to try. It. Also, very good against, you know, um, Storm Shield against uh, Oriole's uh, the the Hope uh, the um, Shield of Hope. Really strong. But I think Mortal Strike will be your kind of standard choice. And then we have our level twenty Vigilance incoming. Um, basic attacks reduce taunt cooldown by one second. Again, this is on a very small radius. If this was increase, if this would increase the radius, maybe the duration as well. Maybe it would be viable, but eh, I don't think I don't think it would be good. Monst Master at Arms, Colossus Smash hits enemies near the target. So Colossus Smash becomes an AOE, but also its cooldown is cut in half. Instead of twenty second cooldown, it's on a ten second cooldown. Which obviously, goddamn, that's really strong, really strong. Uh, Frenzy is your upgrade for your passive heroic for your twin blades. Uh, increase twin blades of fury bonuses, so you gonna you will gain additional fifteen attack speed, um, and basic attacks increases movement speed by additional ten percent. So he'll be moving at forty percent movement speed, which is faster than a mount. 
That's crazy. That's crazy, boys and girls. But you have this talent, which is just amazing. Amazing with Brightwing, amazing with uh, any kind of AoE healing that you have. Oreo, Malfurion, Lily with, his, with her jugs. Just super good. Glory to the Alliance. Banner also increases healing effect by 50%. That is nuts. If you're, for example, let's say your Brightwing picks up a, revital, a revitalizing mist and at level 20 he's gonna heal you at 3 stacks for 500, da for 500 uh, you know, damage, that you, for basically 500 hit points. It's not gonna be 500 anymore, it's going to be um, 750. That is huge. That is so huge. It just makes any healer's job much easier. Again, Karazim. Karazim is going to you know, dash into the middle of your friendly team, heal you guys, and you'll be you know, you'll be getting some burst heal from that guy just because of the glory of Alliance. I really like that talent. But also you have Demoralizing Shout, uh, which is kind of a shrink ray without the slowing effect. And it's kind of, kind of, uh, kind of reduced effect just because it's an AoE. I'm actually wondering how big this is. Pretty big, pretty big radius. Uh, so he's able to shout like that, and everybody, every enemy around him will be, will have their damage reduced, just flat reduction for four seconds by 25%. Really, really strong. Again, not sure how if he's gonna be, if he's not gonna be a little bit OP. I'm not sure, but from from what I can see, he uh, he seems fine for now. So again, the tank build that I came up with, let's go over that again. Um, again, we'll go into Overpower um, or High King's Quest, again, whichever you like. You know, this will this will deal more damage and this will deal more damage. This is just, this is just going to proc your Heroic Strike more, which kind of, you know, then um, goes into your mort Mortal Strike. You, you see what I mean? It kind of synergizes. That's why I want to go for Overpower. But I guess if you're going to go maybe Shattering Throw or you want to go Juggernaut, you got the hiking quest over there, you know, for that for the tank build. So you go overpower, and you want to go shield wall to prevent all damage incoming. That's going to be really good for his survivability. Let our enemies beware. Um, then again, it's really up to you, and it's really up to testing. I won't be able to test too much just because the queue times and PTRs are just horrible. Uh, so I'm going to start testing when he actually launches into live servers. But for now, I believe this is going to be good for small maps, and this is going to be good for any map. Uh, and for any bigger map. I just have to see how good this li Live by the Sword will be. Maybe better for um, for like organized comps where you're actually talking to people and you know you will receive heals. Just because this takes away any kind of healing you will receive. This is your own, like this talent will be your only, these two talents will be your only kind of sustain um, from your basic kit. So yeah. I kind of feel like Live by the Sword needs to, you need to have a very strong support with you. Uh, so for a quick match or just any kind of match to maybe make your uh, healer's uh, job easier on a bigger map, I will go second wind over here. Even though I went, you know, two, um, two parry talents up in here. Then on level 10, of course, you're gonna, you want to go for Taunt just straight for the health increase. Of course, attack speed, uh, your attack speed will be reduced and you will have this kind of... It's not useless, but you will be able to save, save allies with this and you'll be able to actually tank a little bit of damage. But... Again, you'd mostly take it for the health increase. You know, your, your, team, your, your team needs a tank and I know I'll probably mostly be playing um, uh, Varian as a tank. So we'll just see how it goes, right? And then I go for resistance just to kind of just, you know, just kind of increase uh, just the survivability of the, of the overall team. Also my my own, which is good. Mortal Strike or Shattering Throw at level 16. Mortal Strike would be your standard choice. Again, you'll go Shattering, shattering Throw against, um, you know, like um, shield compositions. Uh, what's the range in this? That's actually a very good range. Very good range. Yeah, yeah I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and then you will also be dealing more damage with your basic attacks to shield the targets, which is really good. And then on this level range, I will probably go for either or of these. Like uh, glory for the to the alliance is good to help out your your healing, and demoralizing shout just reduces the burst or just reducing the damage overall uh, coming from the enemy team. So. Again, you might just pick this up, charge with your E into the back line, boom, do this, you know, drop this to just increase the healing, and you might be actually there for a very, very easy team fight. So that's a tank build. 
Um, of course, you can change some talents. Of course, here you can go for Glory of the Reliance. You can kind of go for the Stormwind. Ability power is, I think, going to be the least used. But the movement speed could be useful to help your allies escape or to make them uh, to make them faster. To make the maybe make the chasing much easier. And again, we're going to see which one which one of these three is going to be best for. Uh, uh, burst damage build, what I would do. So this High King's quest is really, really nice. Really, really nice. But if it's burst damage quest, I feel like this might be actually good. It's because it increases its slow. So you go for this, you go for Warbringer, which makes it a stun and on a 10 second cooldown only. So I want to see what the damage is going to be. So I'll, be, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so here is the fully finished quest uh, with with the Q. How much damage does it deal? Four hundred and fourteen eight damage, and that's on an eight second cooldown. Plus, you are, he's going to be slow for forty percent of it. Not sure how good this is. I think this is just going to be straight up better. But your level ten will also be uh, reducing your maximum health. And this, as a base, increases a bit by 75% your basic attack damage. So I think this is going to be better anyway, just because you just increase it to then get it increased even further with the percentage increase. Yeah, so I think this is worthless. I think your land mall will be worthless, just because there aren't any talents to spec for it later on. Uh, so Hank King's Quest, Warbringer, and then you probably go for the second one, just because your basic attacks will be healing your fight quite a lot. Colossus Smash. And you're able to just hit like a tank 581 and then 302 every single basic attack god damn that's just so much damage very very close to what butcher does um when you have your heroic strike uh, active you, you probably again want to go for resistant uh, to just kind of make the team fights easier or maybe movement speed again um level 16 again is you did go for this increase, but Juggernaut doesn't seem like a, like a good choice, to me at least. Um, so probably more Earth Strike will be your choice, or Shining Throw again. It's really up to the up to your liking and up to the composition you're up against. Um, so again, more Earth Strike, and then I think Master Arms is really strong for, for damage. Very strong for damage, because it deals it in the area. And also affects everybody around that area, so everybody around this will be vulnerable and will be taking more damage and by the way this is quite a lot of burst damage just because you deal 400 with this and then you do about 700 with your basic attack which is just crazy how cray cray is that so this is a burst damage build and then you also have um the sustained damage build again for this one high king's quest warbringer and then you go for probably second win right here because again you'll be just healing off of your every single basic attack twin blades uh, again probably iron forge again one of these three whichever you really like mortal strike is going to be able to just kind of apply almost every single basic attack it's going to be every third but you, you're attacking so quickly that it will just seem like it's almost every single basic attack and then level 20 <laughs> you probably go frenzy yeah you probably in increase it you probably go frenzy I'm not sure if that might be actually overkill, because look at look at the attack speed now. That is crazy. That is crazy, guys. Yeah, this this build might be just crazy nuts. Like the amount of damage you're you're able to do with this. All right, so that, that that's the quest done. So we have ten uh, ten more attack speed. So let's let's actually bring Arthas here and see let's see how much damage we're doing with this. Come on Arthas. Come on Arthas. Look, look at his health just go down. And by the way, that's only on the six second cooldown. Almost died. There we go. Melting. Just meltage. Oh, you are, uh, this build might be strong. This build might be strong. I'm not sure uh, if if the tank build is viable just because of this build. It doesn't decrease your health at all. The, only the burst damage build increases your health, which is kind of strange. 
Anyway, so those are the three builds for you. I will be going with a tank build, definitely. Even if it's the worst, I will still be going with it just because I feel like he is supposed to be a warrior and that's what he's supposed to build. Of course, when I need to build as assassin, I will build as assassin. Probably when I build as assassin, I will be going for the sustained damage build. Uh, so that is it. That is all. I think I've said enough I, and this video is already half an hour long. So I'm gonna end it here guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap it up with that or like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And here is just one more shot at the Let's see his, uh, his animations. Dance. Very nice dance. And then he has... Pretty non, pretty, pretty bad tone. Anyway, I'll just see you guys next time.